Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Dr. Sureshit Bhajna and today we are going to discuss about a condition which is actually very less understood. We are of course talking about the persistent genital arousal disorder also known as the restless genital syndrome. Now imagine this, you are not doing anything sexual, daily activities like walking, running, sleeping or just driving and randomly throughout the day you get aroused. Now that is restless genital syndrome. And also imagine if this arousal happens 30 to 40 times a day and there is no way for you to relieve it. Masturbation or if you have an orgasm, these are not going to relieve the arousal at all. And that is definitely very distressing for the patients. So of course being aroused throughout the day means that you are not able to do anything properly, you are not able to think straight, your thoughts are always foggy and of course you are not going to be able to do your day day-to-day -day activities. Unlike psychological issues which are usually associated with things like sexual abuse, PGAD is completely neuromuscular in nature. In this condition, the nerves of the pelvis get randomly fired up or they get activated without any kind of sexual stimulation or they even get activated by a stimulus which is not sexual in nature. And all of this comes into a very new branch of science called as the neuropelvilogy. And neuropelvilogy is very new and that's the reason why many clinicians and doctors are not aware of these conditions. Now, this is not a condition that many people understand very well and they would say you know being aroused all the time might actually be a good thing but unfortunately most of these women who are suffering from PGAD are highly distressed very embarrassed and often very suicidal. Some of these patients go and tell this to their doctors. They go ahead and tell them things like, it's all in your head, your blood tests are normal, you're just a drug seeker and things like that. This usually distresses the patient even more. And most of the time, women who are suffering from this condition just want to be understood. The main problem with PGAD is that it's a chronic pelvic pain condition and most of the clinicians who deal with the pelvic area are not very well familiar with the chronic pain conditions. and clinicians who are very good at treating chronic pain are not very familiar with the pelvic region. And now because this condition is not very well understood, it requires a multidisciplinary approach. It also requires a lot of patients from the patient, the treating clinician and as well as the family members of the patient. When I'm talking about multidisciplinary team, I'm talking about the patient requiring to go to a psychologist, it requires her to go to a neurologist, a pelvic pain specialist and a gynecologist. So to treat these these patients you require a detailed history which is of course their menstrual, marital and their sexual history and we need to investigate them to make sure all their hormone levels are in check and they are all balanced and you also need an ultrasound to make sure there is no pelvic pathology which is causing this particular issue and an x-ray or an MRI is also very important to rule out tarlovsis in these patients. In my whole gynec career I only seen one patient who had suffered from this particular condition so far and she was absolutely distressed, she was very suicidal and unfortunately I have lost follow up with the patient. So if you are someone or you know someone who is suffering from this particular condition, please make sure you ask them to go ahead and seek treatment immediately because this condition can definitely be solved. So I hope you got some good information from this video. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that right now. And do go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well for more such videos. So until the next one guys, see you and have a great day.